Good day, children! Today, we are in the third week of our third quarter lesson in health. For today's objective, let's explain the effect of a noisy environment. And before we proceed, let's have a review. But before we start, I have some reminders for you. First is, listen very carefully. Next, prepare your pen and paper. And the last one, jot down important notes. Now, let's proceed on our activity. Using your pen and paper, write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is incorrect. For number one, noise pollution is an invisible threat to humankind. True or false? For number two, sleep disturbance is one of the effects of noise pollution. True or false? For number three, we can reduce noise by using earplugs. True or false? For number four, noise pollution is a good for the health of every individual. True or false? And for number five, noise pollution can cause physical damage to the eardrum. True or false? And now we are done with our activity. Let's check your answers. Remember, honesty is the best policy. The answer for number one is true. Number two, true. Number three, true. Number four, false. And number five, false. And now, put your scores on our chat box. And let's proceed for today's lesson. Our lesson for today is all about noise pollution. Unlike other pollution you see around, like water, land, and air, noise pollution is very invisible to you but still is very harmful. Now let's discuss what is noise pollution. Well, as we all know, that sound is everywhere. The sound that we hear are a vital part of our daily routine, and we are very blessed to hear everything around us. But sometimes, these necessary sounds reach a volume that is dangerous for all living beings. It is called noise pollution. Noise pollution is unwanted or excessive sound that can have deleterious effect on human health, wildlife, and environmental quality. There are two types of noise pollution. First is natural noise and the other one is man-made noise pollution. What comes around under the natural noise? Noise and sounds from the wind, rain, storms, trees, birds, and animals are called natural sounds. And what about man-made noise? Man-made noise is commonly generated inside many industrial facilities and some other workplaces. But it also comes from highway, railway, and airplane traffic and from outdoor construction activities. How does sound affect our health? Well, human ears are designed to hear sound up to 1 decibel or 1 dB. But when someone is exposed to sounds that are 85 decibel or above, which can cause permanent damage to your ear, leading to hearing loss. What are the effects of noise pollution? 
exposure to prolonged or extreme noise has been shown to cause a range health problems ranging from stress, poor concentration, productivity loss at work and at school, fatigue from lack of sleep, communication difficulties, and some severe issues like cardiovascular issues. Now, as we know that noise pollution can be so dangerous, we must definitely take steps to reduce it for the betterment of our health and our environment. And now, let's discuss what are the simple things that you can do to avoid or prevent noise pollution. First is, make sure to set volume of your TV to a level where it is only audible enough to you and your family and not to your neighbors. The next vital step is to always try to avoid noisy firecrackers. This can prevent noise pollution and air pollution too. Another step, ask your mom and dad not to honk unnecessarily and especially while passing by school, church, or hospitals. These are the little steps that you can do that will surely help to reduce noise pollution and make our environment a peaceful place to stay in. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for listening. And always remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home. See you next week!